welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very exciting one. As you saw by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be unboxing my brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I am so excited for this unboxing. My excitement right now is literally through the roof of this house. So obviously this was a huge, huge, huge splurge for me. And right now it's kind of like Danya one bank account zero. And obviously my bank account is not happy about that. But because I am a full-time content creator and this is my job, I think of it more as an investment as I am literally 24 seven on my phone and I was really due for an upgrade. So my current phone is the iPhone 10 and it's just a regular one. I got it around one and a half to two years ago, which honestly is not a long time, but it is time for me to say goodbye to this one because Silly me did not put a screen protector on and obviously as clumsy as I am, um, as you guys can see, I dropped it a few times and there's cracks at the bottom and also scratches on the screen. So um, yeah, it is time for me to bid farewell to this one. But the main reason why I decided to get the iPhone 12 Pro Max is because when I actually got the iPhone 10, I didn't know that there was a difference in camera quality compared to the Pro and the Pro Max versions. So I just ended up going with the iPhone 10 because I didn't want my phone to be bulky. And then eventually I found out that the Pro and the Pro Max versions had better camera quality. So I was actually going to purchase the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but then there was news that the iPhone 12 was gonna be really soon. So I just decided to wait it out. So I have got the package right over here. Um, I actually went and I picked it up from the mall yesterday. It was gonna take like three weeks for it to be delivered if I got it shipped, whereas I could have just ordered it online and picked it up from the store. So I obviously decided to do that and it was actually very convenient. Um, where I live, which is Toronto, is in lockdown right now. So all the malls are closed, but Apple's got like an express pickup area so you can order your stuff online and just go pick it up. So I ordered the iPhone 12 Pro Max in gold and and I believe I got the 256 gigabytes one. Um, my current phone only has 64 gigabytes and your girl is running out of space every single day. I'm not even kidding. My phone literally keeps uninstalling all of my apps and I have to keep installing them, which is so freaking annoying. So I figured that the 256 gigabytes is gonna be more than enough for me. Um, at least let's hope so. I was also very confused in the beginning whether I wanted to get the silver silver one or the gold one because the silver one almost kind of looked like white and I love like the whole minimal look too but I am also such a girly girl and I love my gold and rose gold so I ended up going with that and let's hope that I don't end up regretting my decision but anyway the moment you all have been waiting for let's go ahead and unbox my new baby are you guys ready for this because I don't know if I'm ready You guys, are you ready? <sighs> All right, I just, I just needed a moment with my new baby, but oh my God, you guys, look at it. It is so stunning. Wow, it feels, it feels really, really light. I honestly thought this would have been much heavier, so um, I'm surprised that it's not. So obviously, they've got this new black box design and it's actually really cool. I really like it. I don't know if you guys remember, but the previous boxes were white in color and also the new boxes are smaller. They're almost half the size of the older boxes. Apple did that to basically reduce its carbon footprint and also have more sustainable and environmentally friendly packaging which is great and I absolutely love that but they have not included wall chargers and earbuds in this new box which honestly is very annoying because that means that you have to go and purchase them separately and honestly at this point it's just like come on Apple you might as well change your motto to an Apple a day takes my money away because clearly it's working. Anyway, my little rent is over, so let's finally get into unboxing my new iPhone and oh, 
Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. Let's get into it. new phone wow I I think I'm in love guys I actually really like this gold color I am so glad that I ended up going with it um, I'm gonna try and see in the lighting if you guys can see it properly but it's actually kind of like this very whitish gold it almost looks like a little bit white but it has these like rose gold and gold hues in it and whoop, I almost dropped it <laughs> Um, it's just so freaking stunning. I'm just, I'm so glad that I ended up going with the gold. This looks beautiful. And oh my God, guys, like I finally have the three cameras. Like look at my old phone and look at this phone. Like I'm just so excited for the camera. I can't even tell you guys how excited I am. So let's take it out of the box. So this is what it looks like out of the box. As you guys can see in the front, we have this white protective cover that's um, actually made out of paper and not plastic like before. And you've also got these, um, these icons that tell you what each button does. So that is really cool because if someone is just getting an iPhone, they know what each button does. Um, I'm not gonna take this off right now because I did get a screen protector from Amazon, so I'm gonna put that on. And I also got a case for my iPhone, but the one that I actually got that I'm gonna have on it hasn't arrived yet, so I did get a secondary case from Amazon, so I'm gonna be putting that on it as well. But before I go ahead and put the screen protector on and the case, let's just go ahead and unbox the rest of this. So obviously, since this is a much smaller box, there's not a lot of items in here but the first thing that we've got in here is this paper holder which just says designed by Apple in California and then inside it you've got this um, sim card I think it's this sim card ejector thing and then we've also got some instruction manuals that I literally never read and then we've got one Apple sticker and I think previously they included more than one Apple sticker but this time there's only one and that too I literally never use so um, I don't know why they even include this in here. I think if they're trying to reduce carbon emission, they should stop making these stickers. And then we've also got this charging cord in the box. So this is what it looks like. So this one is a USB-C cable. Um, it's a different cable than what they used to have in there before. The lighting head that goes into the iPhone is still the same, but then the one that goes into the wall charger is different. Unfortunately, Apple has not included the charging block in this box, so you do have to purchase it separately from Apple. And I think it costs around $20, I believe. I didn't end up getting the charging block because I actually also purchased the new iPad Air, so that's comes with the charging block and I'm just gonna use the same one. Um, I think you can also still use the old USB cables but they just won't work as fast. The new USB-C cable apparently works a lot faster which is why they have um, changed the cables in here. But yeah, so for my case I actually got one from this company called Case App but it hasn't arrived yet so um, for this video I just ended up getting one from Amazon and I actually really like it. It's this clear case with these dry flowers in it and it's actually so cute so I may just end up keeping this as a backup but before I put the case on I'm gonna put on the screen protector that I also got from Amazon this one is the ESR tempered glass screen protector. I actually use their screen protector on my iPad as well and I really like them so I decided to get them for my iPhone as well so this actually comes with a bunch of stuff inside and I'm just gonna quickly show it to you guys but basically it comes with these three cleansing kits and then there's also um i'm not sure what this is uh i think it's kind of like a board that maybe you would put around your iphone to just put the protector in place but they didn't have this in the ipad thing so i think that's really cool and then you've got this instruction manual some prize draw thing 
and then it comes with three screen protectors. So I'm gonna go now and put on the screen protector on my iPhone because as you guys know, last time I broke my phone, so I need that protection. So wish me luck, guys, because the last time I put a screen protector on my iPhone, let's just say it took me like five years to put it on or it felt like it. So I'm hoping by this time I am an expert in doing this. So let's go. So it comes with this dust removal sticker and then it's got a wet wipe and then it also has got a dust clot. So I'm going to go ahead and use the wet wipe first. All right, now I'm going to take this frame board and I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna take the dust removal sticker. All right, you guys, wish me luck. It's the hardest part. So it says to lay this side on the screen. We did it! Okay guys, I'm definitely getting way better at this. It took me way less time. Um, and I actually did a good job. There weren't a lot of bubbles, so that's good. And so now I'm gonna put the case on it. Alright guys, so I just put my case on and I also put my screen protector on so we are good to go. We are fully protected, but oh my god you guys, I still can't believe that this is my new phone. I am so excited to open it and set it up and I just, I can't wait to use it. And I'm also low-key obsessed with this case. I'm actually so glad that I ended up getting it. I love like the clear case with the dried flowers and so I may actually just end up keeping this case. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to turn the phone on now and set it up. All right guys, so I just turned the phone on and it is doing the hello thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and swipe up. So now it's asking me to select the language, so I'm gonna go ahead with English, obviously, because that's the language I speak. And then I'm gonna go with Canada, because that is the country that I'm in. So let's go ahead. Now it's asking me to quick start, so I'm gonna bring my old iPhone and place it next to the iPhone 12 on the table and then set it up. So I've got my old phone over here and it's already asking me um, to set it up, so I'm gonna go ahead and then I'm gonna hold it up in front of the new one. Now it's asking to enter the passcode, so I'm gonna do that. So now it's asking for face ID, so I'm gonna set that up. All right, so the face ID setup is now complete. I'm gonna hit continue, and then now we're gonna go on and transfer the data. So it gives you the option to transfer from your iPhone or you can download from iCloud. I'm just gonna transfer from my iPhone so that way I have everything directly onto my phone. And then it also says that the time to transfer from iPhone is 25 to 35 minutes. So this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna do the transfer and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Eventually. All right guys, so the transfer is finally complete. It definitely took like 25 Five minutes I think um, and I think it's still loading a little bit so we're just gonna give it a little bit more time 
and report back. All right, guys, the transfer is finally complete. That actually took so long. I went and I had breakfast um, during the time that it was transferring. But yeah, it literally transferred everything um, from my old phone to this phone. Even the wallpaper of my home screen is exactly the same. Um, and let's see what it looks like when I open it up. All right, so when you open up the phones, as you guys can see, everything looks exactly the same. All of my apps and folders were automatically transferred. Um, some things are moved around, but all of the apps are in here. So this is really, really cool that the iPhone automatically transfers over everything from your old phone to the new phone. I really have to organize my phone. It is such a mess right now. Obviously the new phone has the widget system and my old phone does not have that because I was running out of storage. I wasn't able to download the widgets and organize and customize my phone. So I'm really excited um, to do that. Also, please ignore my 60,000 emails. Yes, I'm one of those who who never deletes her emails. Um, I know I'm due for a major declutter, so that is definitely on the horizon, but yeah. So we are finally all set up and good to go, and I am so excited to finally play with my new baby, and especially I'm really excited to customize it with the new iOS 14, so definitely stay tuned and be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on my iPhone customization video. Lastly, I very quickly wanted to show you guys a little comparison between the camera quality of the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So as you guys can see, I took the same photo with my iPhone 10 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max and holy shit guys, you can totally see the difference in the camera quality. The iPhone 12 Pro Max definitely wins the competition by a hundred times. The quality of the camera is so insane and you can see that the pixels are extremely sharp so I am definitely blown away by the camera quality of the iPhone 12 Pro Max and at nighttime especially this is just insane and such a game changer. The iPhone 12 Pro Max literally looks like it is daylight whereas the iPhone 10, I don't even want to talk about it. It's just so terrible. So I am really, really excited to take my new iPhone 12 Pro Max out in the field and shoot content with it because it is gonna be wild. So anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm honestly so thankful and grateful for this new iPhone 12 in my life and I can't wait to make memories with it. I hope that we have a long lasting relationship and that I don't break it or lose it because that's just gonna be really sad. So here's to us having a great relationship. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell down below. That way you guys don't miss out on my future videos. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!